In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create an animated concept tree in PowerPoint. And this is how the slide works. When I click, it will show you a kind of a idea icon here along with the small leaves. And on my next click, it will give me some more details here. I have added some uh, oval shapes with gradient fill and I have added the icons along with the detailed text. And on my next click, it will show me on the right side and then it will show me again on the left some more details and on my again one more click it will show me on the right so let's see how to do this in powerpoint add a new slide go to view enable the guides then go to insert shapes from the basic shape select the oval draw the oval shape by holding the shift key you can see here maybe this much size shape outline make it no outline and shape fill you can give any color then just say align center align middle and i can just make it somewhat top something like this then go to insert shapes from the lines i'm going to select this line draw the line straight or hold the shift key also to get the perfect straight line you can see here then shape outline i'm going to give the same color and you can increase the weight here you can see maybe three points or four points also you can do it let me just go to view enable or uh, disable the guides now i'm going to add some other lines go to insert shapes and from the line select the curve click here the down and i'm just going to click one more time here and you can see here it comes somewhat kind of a curve shape again click one more time and you can just click here one more time at the top and double click it so the design will release and then i'm just going to right mouse click edit points i can make this straight you can see here i can make this somewhat straight here and i can move this point up and you want you can just make something like this some kind of a design which looks like this So you can see here this particular design now i'm going to give some different color to this and i can increase the weight to maybe two quarters and press ctrl d to duplicate it bring the other side and flip horizontal you can see here and right mouse click edit points i can just bring this somewhat down so it looks something like this so this is some uh, two lines i have added here let me just make it more closer now i'm going to add two more curve lines just go to insert again shapes select the curve shape and then click one more time here and you can just make it something like this you can see here and just double click it give some different color maybe you can give green again you can increase the weight you can see here and press ctrl d to duplicate it bring the other side and then again flip horizontal and just place it here then go to insert shapes i'm going to select one rectangle draw the rectangle at the bottom of the slide you can see here shape outline make it no outline and shape fill go to more fill colors and i can give this color so I'm going to add few more uh, kind of a branches here for that go to insert shapes again the same uh, curve you can click here exactly on the line and then you can just bend it something like this you can see here and you can give the same color or some different color and the same two quarters width again double click this one I'm going to just reduce the size so I'm going to add one more circle here you can see here and again this side also press ctrl d i'm going to make it flip vertical and then maybe you can add one here ctrl d i'm going to add one more shape here and below also i'm just going to add it press ctrl d and i'm going to add it one here and ctrl d i'm just going to add one more side something like this and we can just change the color according to the lines 
now it's time to add the oval shape go to insert shape select the oval shape i'm going to add somewhat bigger shape here again make sure that you hold the shift key you can see here shape outline make it no outline and you can give some different colors press ctrl d you can add one more here make it some more smaller size one more here you can see press ctrl d i'm going to reduce the size further i'm going to add one here and one more smaller at the bottom you can see here and later on we can change the colors and this one let me just edit the point and i'm going to just here you can see here and then i'm just going to press ctrl d to duplicate it reduce the size you add one here you can see and then i'm just going to take this i'm just adding one by one with different shapes and sizes you can see here now it's time to give some gradient fill select the circle right mouse click go to format shape under fill select the gradient fill by default you have got four stops i'm going to delete two stops i'm going to keep it only first select let me just select this one go to more colors and i'm going to give some dark color here you can see here and select the second stop go to more colors go to standard and select some light colors here so you can see here like this it will come so for this also i'm going to select the gradient fill and then it's easy for me to just change the color according to my choice i'm just going to select one by one and i'm going to give some different colors here you can see let me just select this i can give a color combination of blue i can say a dark blue here and for this point or the stop i can make it somewhat light blue so you have different colors you can add it here i have changed the colors of all the circles with gradient fill then i'm going to insert the icons here to insert the icons click on the insert tab and click on the icons and remember that these particular icons are available only in the latest version of powerpoint and if you need a free uh, icons you can check my videos where i have provided more than 500 icons so let me just click the icons and i'm just going to drag it down and i'm going to just select some uh, random you can see here they have a variety of a different different uh, icons let me just randomly select few icons here you can see here i'm just going to randomly select maybe 12 icons i am selecting and i'm just move it aside and give this height and the width as 0.5 maybe you can see here so i'm going to select this particular icon here and i can increase the size you can see here i can increase the size and graphic fill i can make it white and then i can add my icons according to each circle here you can see here slowly add one by one and you can change the size also and all the colors i'm going to make it white so you can see here let me just delete this and then you can just select all this by holding the shift key and then change color to white now i'm going to add some detailed text here go to insert text box you can add your detailed text here center align i'm going to give as gray color reduce the font size you can see here now again press ctrl d and just place it next to each option you can see here something like this you can do it one by one and then i'm just going to group it so let me just select these two objects press ctrl g to group it so before doing any animation we need to group it properly you can see here i'm just selecting these two options only and press ctrl g to group it
so just do one by one you can see here or you can just select this and this and group it to add the animations let me just close the format background go to animations tab enable the animation pane I'm going to select this line first and give a wipe effect so it comes something like this and this one I'm going to add animation more entrance effect and you can give basic zoom you can see here and this should happen after previous so if I play it comes something like this and then I'm going to select this line again give the wipe effect you can see here it comes very fast if you want you can make it either on click or you can make it after previous also and then you can add some this one here the options so again for this also I'm going to give a wipe effect make it after previous and I'm going to select this animation click on the animation painter and select this one so it comes something like this so it's easy for me I'm just going to select this and click it here you can see here and then I'm just selecting this you can see here and then I need this also so if I play it looks something like this you can see here so likewise you can do the animation for the rest of the options That's it from me friends. Thank you for watching my YouTube channel and don't forget to subscribe PowerPoint University. See you soon with more interesting stuff. Till then, goodbye.